Hey guys, it's me, Kayla, and I thought today I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be starting to do videos called um, All About Blank, and today I thought I'd start it off with a bang. That's funny because it's 4th of July, and bang. No? Okay. Um, so I thought I'd start out with something very interesting. Um, I recently went to the Congress of Future Science and Technology Leaders, and I thought for future delegates, I show them, I basically tell them what's it all about, what I did, how I learned, and basically my experience. So, first of all, let me just explain what the future, the Congress of Future Science and Technology Leaders are. The Congress is basically a group of 4,000 people from around the nation, all high exceeding scholars who are like at the top of their classes. Um, you need a 3.5 GPA in order to get in, and or you can be nominated by a special someone. By that I mean guidance teachers, science teachers, any kind of teacher. Um, so what will happen, the first step for you gain to the Congress, you will receive an envelope full of information about this magical endeavor. I'm such a geek using that word. Okay. You will receive, excuse the papers, you will receive all this paperwork on the Congress. And in that paperwork, you will receive your letter basically telling you what you've been nominated for and explaining what the Congress is. On the back, it will say the people who will be attending, the master people who will be speaking, and also child prodigies. And then Buzz Aldrin will give you a closing letter about news release. And that's basically all that's written. And then they will give you your, if you want to mail your payment, they will give you this piece of paper um, that shows your acceptance that you got nominated. And then you will receive the code of content and all the terms and conditions that you need to follow in order to be part of a Congress. Which covers, you know, cancellation, GPA, special needs, overnight, all that fun stuff. And then one of the prettiest pieces of paper in there is your certificate of the nomination for the award. It will come in like this. And you will get that piece of paper. And Buzz Aldrin, I, he didn't sign it. It's computer generated, so don't try to sell that on eBay. But, you know, it's the typical. Um, and you also have something for your parents, since your parents are, since most of your parents will be paying for it. It's information for the nominees and the parents, which inside the front page, the first page and the last page cover details. And then the front pages cover all the people who are going. And in this case, it might change every year, but this was from the 2015 Congress. Um, I don't know if it changes, because this is my first time going. And yeah. And then you will receive all that. And then you will have a certain sign-in date. For example, I was nominated November. I had to um, make a decision by January 13th, which was my birthday, which worked out perfectly. Um, so you have around like two, two and a half months to decide what you want to do to, if you want to attend or if you want to just throw it away and not think about it. So yeah. So two and a half months later you will confirm and you will have to go through the payment, travel, it, the traveling, whether you're doing the overnight program or if you're doing, or if you're just driving with a parent. In this, I didn't do. I did not do the overnight program because I lived fairly close to Boston, Massachusetts. So, if you live in like California, I highly suggest you do the overnight program. By what I heard from other delegates, I heard that the overnight program was better, but um, the overnight program is a little bit more expensive. I believe it's like a. I actually don't know how much more, but you know it's enough <laughs> that makes your head spin. Um. The tuition for the Congress is around $1,000, and the overnight program, I want to say, is a little bit more, like 1500 maybe, I don't know. And 
after you do all that, you are good. And you will receive this email saying, congratulations, your child is into the Congress. And it would also come with a video from Richard Rossi, who is the head executive director of the Congress of Future Science and Technology Leaders. And he will basically send you an email confirming and send you the video of like, congratulations, da 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 And then you won't hear back. And then a few months later, about a month later, you will receive more information uh, because the first for the first round of like applying, you won't have your you won't apply your GPA. You will apply your GPA like a month later, and when a month later you will apply your GPA, you'll print out your news release. You will send links to teachers who want to watch the Congress live. And you will also, what else will you do? Oh, you will confirm for overnight program if you're doing it. And also, if you are special needs, you will basically say what your child has and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. And then during that process from, like, March to June, from March to June, you will be getting the word out. Um, you will probably be on local TV stations, radio stations, newspapers, uh, magazines. In my case, I wasn't really in much because I kind of... Here's a tip. Don't procrastinate the news release. You see, I waited the night before <laughs> turning it in, which is really bad. I waited it, like the night before and I mailed it out and I only got one response. Now it's for like a little magazine local. I haven't heard from the rest, but you know, who knows. So during that time, you were having people you'll start getting the word out people will start noticing you this and then and then but I also did get a letter from Chris Christie which I don't have with me right now it's downstairs you will receive a letter from your governor possibly congratulating you on your effort of getting into Congress um, now the Congress of Future Science and Technology Leaders takes place it says in the letter Boston Massachusetts but in reality, it's not in Boston. It's actually in Lowell, Massachusetts at UMass, which is University of Massachusetts. So you, so it's, it's, mm, I, I don't know. It's like on the edge of Boston, but you know, it's not near it. So then a couple weeks later, you will receive on the website, the schedule will be posted. Now I want to talk about the schedule. Um, you will receive the schedule. It will be on the website. And what the schedule basically is, you will start Sunday. It probably will change the next time, but you will start Sunday. In this case, for me, it was June 28th, 2015. And the doors opened at 4.30. And the program actually started at 6. We did not get a dinner break that day, but we did the rest of the days. So it's... The program, the first day, is from 6 to 10. It says 11 o'clock adjourn, but that really means everybody has to be out of the building by 11 o'clock. So don't worry. The program does not go till 11. It actually goes till 10, so don't worry about that. Um, and then Monday, the next day, it started a little bit earlier. It started at 10 o'clock. And you would go from 10 o'clock, in this case, 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And... And then from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock, you will have a lunch break where you will have your lunch, meet other delegates, and actually get to meet some of the speakers that have spoken. And then you will come back. Then you... I'm sorry. And then from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, you will have a dinner break. And then... Oh, my bad. I'm... Uh, blah, blah. Um, and then on Tuesday, the final day, it went, a, actually, it was a little bit shorter. It was probably one of the shortest days. Um, doors opened again, 8.30, program started at 10. But in this case, um, on the last day, um, the ending is kind of blah. Because you will, after your dinner break, you only have to stay there for like an hour. But it depends because it changes every year. Like for this case, um, we got to be inducted into the Society of Torch and Laurel. And you do not receive this pin. You have to actually buy it with your own money, which, you know, I was fine with that. This is like, I think like five or eight dollars. 
You'll be, I was inducted into the Society of Torch and Laurel Honor Society. And then you have candlelit award ceremony, which really means you will have those little glow sticks and you will be singing a song. In this case, we had My Wish by Rascal Flatts. We sang it with our parents, which was very emotional. And then you have the dance. And that really only goes till like nine o'clock. And so then you can leave after that if you don't want to stay for a dance. I didn't stay for a dance because we had to go, we had to drive up that night, drive back home. Uh, yeah, basically. So you'll receive that schedule, uh, I want to say like three weeks before the Congress. And then two weeks before the Congress, you will receive your lovely delegate badge. Which will come like this. It does not come with this lanyard. Here. It actually comes like this. You will receive your delegate badge, which will look like this. It's very pretty, if I do say so myself. And you will also rece receive a family badge. Now, you only get one unless you're bringing siblings. You can only bring one parent at a time and or as many siblings as you want. And it will come with, it will only come with one plastic envelope. Now, don't worry. The plastic envelope is only for you. It does not go to your parents. It goes for you because even though your parents are more important, you receive it because you worked hard. Yet your parents are the one that paid for it. <laughs> um, so you will receive that. And then finally, uh, and now I'm going to talk about how you should dress. Now for the Congress, this is a very formal event, but not like ball gowns and toot, suits and ties. For the men, I suggest you wear like khakis and like boat shoes, but there are no hats allowed. There are no beanies or anything allowed, but yet I did see some of them. And then for girls, you can always wear skirts or pants or dresses. It, it's up to you, ladies, but you are not allowed to wear flip-flops. You have to wear formal shoes formal clothes but not like extremely formal like business uh, business casual that's a good word business casual that's basically how you had to dress um and then sorry and then you will finally arrive to the congress now when you arrive at the congress which in it, i don't know when it will start next year um yeah, I should probably keep that out. Oh, I'm not organized. Okay. Uh, all right. So when you arrive at the Congress, in this case, mine was at a sports arena. Mine was at the University of Massachusetts basketball arena, which was pretty big. You know, it fit a lot of people. Here's a map. The delegates will sit right here in the green area. And then parents will sit over here. Yay. Um... So basically you will enter the huge arena. I don't know if it's the same for medical leaders. You'd have to check. You will enter the arena and you will be, they will, you will go in, you will pick up one of these pamphlets, which basically has an itinerary of all the speakers. I'm going to open it up. It has the days of who's speaking what and that. And on the back, there are notes. Please excuse that. Um, I actually don't have my copy, that's sad. <laughs> um, so you will enter into your arena, and don't worry if you suddenly get cold feet and run. Don't do that, please don't. Um, you will first enter, and you will see this whole arena filled with about 4,000 kids. Now don't worry, there's someone bound to be from your state. I met a couple people from my state, although there wasn't that many, but yet there were some. There were some. Um, so... The overall total this year, I think, was, as I said, 4,000. And if you count parents times one, actually, if you count siblings, so that's like times two or times three, you get a good amount. It's like 8,000 to 12,000 people fit in this tiny arena. And you will walk in, and if you arrive early, you get time to find your seat, communicate with your fellow delegates, get to talk about stuff, and then finally, you will start. Now, you will have your joint color guard presentation of colors, which is basically where army men, not army men, but 
I don't know what they're called, but they carry in their flags and they join together and you gotta pledge allegiance. And then the national anthem will be sung by Congress delegate. Um, I didn't do it. I just didn't choose to. And you will be greeted by Richard Rossi, who is the executive director, and he will basically greet you and welcome you to everything that you want. Now he, it is amazing. He comes out and he will point at this section and that section and that section and tell you to scream. Now when you walk in there, you have to scream to the top of your lungs because he's going to expect excitement, joy, happiness, whatever. Some kind of movement ability. And then you will have an icebreaker. For me, we had an icebreaker activity where we got to um, talk to the person next to us. And we basically got to talk to them about where we're from, what state we're from, school, what we want to be when we grow up in the science and technology field. Um, and then you will have your first speaker, which in my case was Jake Andrea, who is a science prodigy who won the Intel Science Fair. He will mentor you, which basically means he will talk. And then you'll be mentored by somebody else. And then for the like upper people, like for the masters, uh, they get a talk back, which basically means through via Twitter, you will send them questions and they will answer them, only some of them, which is really cool. Um, I couldn't send any questions because I do not have a Twitter. Um, I actually wrote them down now, but I did get to meet them. And then you will do another group activity, which is basically where Richard, wait, hold on, do I have it? Or I might have it. I don't have it with me. I'm sorry, guys. So what he will do is that he will direct you to the back of your pamphlet, and he will ask you to write what you learned from the first two speakers. In this case, from what I learned from Dean and what I learned from Jack. And you will spend about two minutes, and then you will talk to others, and then you'll do it again. And then you will be mentored by someone else, which is, in the, my case, was Bill Westenhofer, who did visual effects for... Uh, Life of Pi and other movies. Um, and then you, you, you will be able to ask him questions and then you'll have another speaker and all this will go to 11, 10, about 10 o'clock. Um, you can sneak out early if you want. I highly suggest you don't because they will find you. Um, Richard probably will not be happy if you sneaked out. But what the heck. <laughs> what the heck. Um, so, and then you won't be able to talk to those speakers till tomorrow because obviously it's 10 o'clock at night, they need to go to bed. Um, and then they too will start bright and early at 10 o'clock, the doors are open at 8.30, and you will be mentored. You will first be introduced by Richard Rossi about the day's activities. But before that, about a half hour before the show, um, you, about a half hour before each session starts, a half hour before the morning, the afternoon, the night session. Before all that starts, there will be this man. And he will come out. And he will do a bunch of activities with you guys. Like for me, we did the, we tried to place a record for the Guinness. Guinness, like it was crowd surfing, longest distance. And I think we beat it. But, you know, I haven't seen it yet. Um, so basically, you will then have your morning session. Which will go from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock. So that will be fun. You will, in my case, I got to hear from so a lot of good people. Like one of my favorites was I got to hear from Dr. Deborah Bender, Bo Bendor, whatever. She was one of my favorites. She was from the college, she's a college admissions expert. And she basically told us what you need to do for college and all this stuff. And I thought, wow, that's really good. It's really good I knew that. And so you will basically be spoke, I don't know, there's a like, you'll get like five speakers in the morning session. And then you'll have your lunch break. And during the lunch break, at high, here's a tip. Um, when I went to the Congress, a couple speakers had to leave early during the lunch break. Like they may have stayed there for like an hour and then left because they had to catch planes and, do, and go back to work. I highly suggest that before you get your lunch, Stay in line for the del stay in line for the scholar masters because the line is horrendous. The line will go from like one party arena to the other part. It's really long. So 
you will have to I highly suggest you go, you meet them, you don't have to wait in line, this and that and then and then you can have your lunch. Um, and then you will come back and you will be mentored by only like three more people. And then you will they you'll be asked some questions and then you will have your dinner break which goes from six to eight and six to eight also gives you another opportunity to go and meet fellow scholar masters and all that stuff. And you may be able to get a photograph or an autograph or even be able to ask some questions. But please don't ask questions, then you'll hold the line up and it'll take forever. But, you know, if you want to ask a question, go ahead. Uh, and then you'll be spoken by another... Oh, whoops. And then you'll be... Then five more people, about five more speakers, Q&A, talk back, whatever. That will happen. And then it'll adjourn at 10 o'clock. Whew! Excuse me. I am talking a lot. And then finally, the last day, which is the most emotional day, because you're leaving your friends... But yet you will have you'll be able to call them and text them. It'll be great. Um, so again, doors open at eight thirty. Program goes at ten. You got about five more speakers, questions, lunch break. Meet the meet the speakers. Meet some delegates. Get some food. Then you'll have your group activity, and you'll be mentored by all these people. Um, and then finally, you'll have your dinner break. And then the most emotional part comes. Now, I don't know if it's the same for every Congress, but in this case, my Congress, um, we were um, we were inducted into the Torch and Laurel Honor Society, which I will show you the pin again, which is basically a society for high-achieving uh, high schoolers who are, I guess, smart. <laughs> I guess. Who are smart. And... You have you will be able to receive this in the upper arena. Around the arena, there will be like you know how at the arena where they serve food. Around that area, that they, they will also be selling books from some of the speakers, uh, merchandise like this. Um, the Congress actually do does have T-shirts. We were announced that, and yeah. And then um, we. And then you will be inducted, and then you'll have your glow stick ceremony, and you'll get to meet some people, and and then it's over. And But in my case, a lot of people didn't get to meet Richard because he was always backed up, and the lines were always long. But I actually got to meet Richard at the end. You know, we had a good conversation. That's how I liked it, and I thought it was splendid. Um, and then that's basically it. That's basically your Congress experience. Uh, so let me talk about my experience. Um, so, oh, excuse me, that was weird. So, first, let me give you a tip. Um, they will ask you to bring a notebook and pen, and at first you'll be like, "I don't want to bring one. I'm not going to take notes." I said that myself. Ooh. I'm so sorry. Look what happened to me. Look, I took, I want to say, like, ten notes on every single, on everything. So when they say bring a notebook and pen, I highly suggest you do. I mean, you may not want to, but come on, bring it. You may learn something. Like, I probably wouldn't have to, I probably won't know half this information. Because I'm not good at memorizing. And, yeah, basically, that's it. So bring a notebook. You will take lots of notes. You may not think you will, but you will. Um, so then, so about my experience. So what um, I did basically, so I thought my experience was very well. Um, you know, the speakers, they were all well balanced. A couple of them were shaky, but you know, all of them knew what they were doing. They got straight to the point. They were high energy, especially Bo Eason, who was my favorite. He was a football player and he was like the motivational speaker of the, of the whole congress. He basically talked about his life in football and acting. Uh, it was very it was very life changing. I feel like now I really want to you know pursue some more technology fields like I want to pursue visual effects because I love art and I love technology so it works. Um, so I really had a great experience. It was much more than I thought. I thought it was going to be like folding chairs and all that stuff. 
And I was like, when, I, when you arrived and you're like, oh my gosh, there are no folding chairs. There are like actual seats. It's in an arena. And it was honestly, it was so worthwhile. So if your parents are shaky on taking you to this, tell them, you know what, mom and dad, by what I've heard from other people, it is very worth. It is worth your money, trust me. But the only thing that I wish they would change was that, um, but, and I understand why. So when you leave the Congress, you will get the Congress for Science and Technology Award of Excellence. But you will not receive that for like three months. Yeah, three months. I still haven't gotten mine, but it's like July and I just came back like almost a week ago. So I won't receive mine till end of September. And by what he showed us, it was like, like, like this size-ish, about that size. And I don't think it's really going to be that size. I feel like it's just going to be like a size of paper. But, you know, I don't know what it looks like. He, who knows. So, and when they say that Buzz Aldrin is the director, you will be able to meet Buzz Aldrin. That's on the last day. You'll be able to meet him. You'll be able to talk to him. Well, actually, you won't be able to talk to him, but he will take a selfie with the whole Congress. He did for us. He posted on Twitter. We became a viral sensation. We didn't, but we were still adorable. Um, so, honestly, if your parents don't want to take you there, I know I had to do a lot of convincing for my parents because they're like, oh, I don't know anything about him. I'm like, let's just try it. And now, he, if I get nominated next year, then he will be willing... Then he will be willing to apply then he will be willing to do it next year in for national congress of science and technologists it's always in lowell for medical leaders it's always in washington dc so don't worry about that um if i get nominated for the congress speech of medical leaders i would be so excited if i did i would really want to do it because i don't know i'm kind of interested in medicine right now so, you know I, I think it would be really cool because you know, I went to technology, and now I want to be medical leaders, and yeah. So, yeah, that's basically what the Congress of Future Science and Technology Leaders is about. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that, all that stuff. And make sure you, if you ever have a question about the Congress, I could probably answer it. Comment down below if you want me to. And this is all for future people. This is for people going next year, the year after, 10 years, who cares? This is for you guys. And if you want me to add in a thing or two, sure, I can add in a thing or two. And honestly, you will have the best time. But you will not receive your award of excellence if you don't check in. Now, the way you check in is that you go onto your phone, you type in a website, and you quickly put in your invitation number, which will be on your badge, and then you will guarantee get your award so yeah that's basically it so thank you guys so much for watching you know all that stuff you need to do and yeah i will see you guys later and put down suggestions for my next all about blank because you know this is my first one so no wait bye